Enough is enough. I remember when it all was a dream. Had a vision of everything I've ever wanted to be. Be. I'm sick and tired of the things that I see. Feel like the only one that's gonna do something about is me. Me. See, I ain't waiting for my name to be called. I'm gonna bust up in this bitch and just start taking it all. Oh, this is your moment. Will you answer the call? If you ain't standing up for nothing, you just destined to fall. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment the world has been waiting for has arrived. It's time for Universe Mode. It's time for a new beginning. It's time for war. Thank you so much for stopping by today on what will truly be the start of something very, very special. Less than 48 hours ago, WWE Chairman Vince McMahon made an astonishing announcement. In an effort to give the company the boost it desperately needs, Raw and SmackDown have been canceled. Every team has been disbanded. New champions have been handpicked, and the entire roster has been divided into these 18 factions. War is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. The chairman is here to elaborate on the future of WWE and what exactly this Wrestle War means for the superstars in the back. Hit that thumbs up button, 10,000 likes for the next episode. The chairman is here. The chairman is hyped. Let's see what he has to say. Wow, Vince already giving it to these people. You did it. You stupid people really did it with your hashtags and your online petitions. You forced my hand with this one. You don't like the product I'm giving you? Fine. Let's shake things up a bit, shall we? Oh, this doesn't sound good. Here's how this is going to work, and if anyone under my employ doesn't like it, they're welcome to head back to the Indies or maybe BCW if they're still accepting applications. Honestly, Vince, I don't think they are. Um, 18 factions, four superstars per faction. Every week, these men and women will battle to earn points for themselves and their faction. They can then cash those points in for title opportunities, special briefcases, and more. My God, that's insane. This will all lead up to the show of shows, WrestleMania. At WrestleMania, the factions with the most points will all compete to crown a brand new WWE Ultimate Champion. Superstars will be forced to work together regardless of how they may feel about certain other members of their faction. In this war, there is strength in numbers and you would all be wise to remember that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new era. Welcome to Wrestle War. Man, Vinnie Mac. Once again, dropping a serious bombshell. Guys, I'm so excited about this. There's going to be a lot of really fun surprises in store. Ways to get you guys involved. It's going to be really, really great. Shout out to these wolves for their song, Enough is Enough, the official theme song for Wrestle War. They allowed me to add my own little flavor to it as well. Check it out down in the description below. But without further ado, it is time. Rey Mysterio, the captain of Speed Force and the Intercontinental Champion, takes on Team Five Stars Captain AJ Styles. It's about to go down. And take a listen to that. The ovation for the Intercontinental Champion. Oh, hang on a second. Accompanied by Speed Force companion, Xavier Woods, it's Rey Mysterio. Intercontinental Champion in action tonight, the leader of the Speed Force team. As you can see, these guys, good friends, good pals, good buddies, but that is not the case for every team in this Wrestle War. And over the course of these next few days slash weeks, you will meet the entire roster here. Thank you guys once again for stopping by. I greatly appreciate you being here. So excited about the future, but we're ready for action. Intercontinental title not on the line tonight. This is a non-title match, but we get to see two incredible superstars. Two men capable of putting on insane matchups going head to head tonight, one on one. The captain of Speed Force right there. Ray Mysterio, look at Xavier Woods is hype. He's hyped to see his boy in action. It's gonna be captain versus captain because Ray's opponent tonight is none other than the phenomenal one, 
the captain of Team Five Star, the one and only AJ Styles. Woo! The man has arrived. These fans on their feet, they know that we are kicking off Wrestle War with a, with a bomb. We're dropping bombs everywhere. That's what we do. AJ and Ray Ray, one-on-one -on -one today day. Team Five Star, you know who you know who makes up Team Five Star? Let me tell you. AJ Styles, the legend, Chris Jericho, Adam Cole, and the current WWE Universal Champion, Seth Rollins. That's gonna be one team, one faction that's gonna be hard to beat. So let's talk real quick about how this point system works. In one-on-one -on -one competition, the winner gains two points for themselves and their team. So two points on the line tonight. Title matches worth three points. And of course, there will be special matches worth much, much more than that. But two big points to kick off their, this wrestle war, and it could honestly go either way. Rey Mysterio and AJ Styles, two fantastic athletes. Two points up for grabs. We are underway. Styles taking it right to Rey Mysterio. As time goes on in this universe mode, of course, we will make adjustments. We will see how things go right now. Uh, I'm gonna let these superstars handle their business. I'm not gonna take control unless it is absolutely necessary for the time being. AJ continues the assault on Mysterio. Styles now. Uh-oh. Ray Ray about to fight back. A big drop kick of his own. Ray able to answer back. This crowd on their feet. They know they're witnessing something special. The beginning of something truly unique tonight. AJ with Ray over shoulder, but Mysterio able to fight back. Two men that certainly know their way around. Oh, Ray! Ray go for a roll-up! Gets a two count! Oh, almost held him down. These men know their way around a wrestling ring. Two veterans of this business. Look at Ray. Oh! How about this? Oh my goodness! The stomp on AJ and the Intercontinental Champion is in full control right now. AJ able to dodge the Inseguri. Styles able to get some offense of his own finally. Look at these quick strikes and a clothesline to take Mysterio down. Styles going for a cover here. Not really sure why he thought that was a good idea, but I'm not going to question the man. Just going to let it happen. Big elbow to the top of the dome piece. Styles to the ropes. AJ, how about that? Knee across the face. That mask giving little protection. To the brow, oh, hang on, whoa! Calf crusher, calf crusher, middle of the ring! Out of nowhere! Mysterio though, Ray able to fight out of it. Nick, this one could have been over quick. Styles goes down and another stump from Mysterio. That calf crusher came out of nowhere. AJ though, full head of steam. Styles lifts him up, oh my goodness! Right in the guts. AJ to the outside. Are we about to see a phenomenal forearm? Styles connects! Styles connects! Is AJ about to pin the Intercontinental Champion? I think so! I think so! One! Two! Oh, Rey Mysterio! Rey gets the shoulder up. What a win that would have been for Styles. AJ wants to fly to the top rope. Oh my goodness! Tapped him. Spinally, oh God. Reversal. Ray Ray to the ropes. Look how quick he is. Oh my God. This man's so fast. Obviously, captain of the speed force. Wait a second. Dial it up. Can Ray finish it? To the top. 619 and Frog 
splash! What a combination! It's over! One, two, right now! This time AJ powers out! My God! Both men hitting their finishers emphatically. Neither one able to put the other away. Ray going high risk again. Looking for that high reward. It's not there. Didn't get all of it. AJ takes him down. Anybody's ball game at the moment. Here comes Styles. Thought he might have been going. Yes, he does. Can he put him away? Oh, decides not to. Look at this. I thought AJ was dragging him away for a pin, but instead he wants to. Oh, maybe he, is, maybe he has spoke too soon. Count of two. Rey Mysterio again powers out. AJ can't believe it. Styles doesn't know what to do. I've never seen AJ this confused. He doesn't know what to do to take Mysterio down. Maybe another four on. Oh, instead AJ's going to go up top. Tap, tap, tap room again. Connecting. But now, Rey Mysterio is about to meet his end. A second phenomenal forearm. AJ wasting precious time here, dragging him away from the ropes. But two, no! Shut up! Rey Rey powers out. Styles can't believe it. AJ with a full head of steam now. Pele kick. Ray is down. All Styles at the moment. Calf crusher once again. Oh, Ray's foot. Ray got his foot in the ropes. Saved himself there. But still in serious trouble. AJ desperately trying to finish off Ray Mysterio. But Ray is too quick. Xavier Wood looking on happily. But AJ once again takes control of this match. Bang, 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 bang. Oh my goodness. Ray might not know where he is right now. He might not. Oh, he might. Right in front of Woods. 619. 619 to the top. Here comes Ray again with the frog splash. One, two, now again. AJ kicks out. This crowd is in awe. We knew something special was going to happen tonight with these two. And what a way to set the tone for this series, for this Wrestle War. Two points on the line for their team. Is it going to Speed Force? Is it going to Team Five Star? Also, folks, over the next few days slash weeks, I'll be giving you guys access to a downloadable, that's right, a downloadable sheet that will allow you to keep track of Universe on your own time, a point system, a spreadsheet, everything. It's that serious, it's that deep. Oh, Ray, Ray! Ray got up quick. He really wanted to hit that, but AJ a little too much. Oh, wait! Wait a second! Don't speak too soon! Side rushing leg sweep. AJ's down. Mysterio with an opening. Are we gonna see that? Frog splash! It's over! One, two! Rey Mysterio is victorious! What a win for the Intercontinental Champion! My God! These two put it all on the line. What a way to kick this show off! Rey Mysterio comes out on top. Two points for Speed Force and the war 
is officially underway, folks. We got so much action tonight. Coming up next, it's going to be the battle of the bosses. Sasha Banks goes one-on-one -on -one with Bianca Belair. Woo! Fasten your seatbelts, folks. You know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Sasha Banks has arrived. And she's a magician because she just made those glasses appear out of nowhere. One fourth of the revolutionaries, along with Becky Lynch, Charlotte, and Bailey. Four of the most dominant women in today's division, all on one team. You can imagine they're quite the favorites as far as the women's division goes in this wrestle war. But the boss has arrived to earn some points tonight. Once again, one-on-one -on -one competition, two points on the line. Sasha going one-on-one -on -one with a woman she has yet to face. One of the up-and-coming female superstars. None other than Bianca Belair. Honestly, one of the most impressive, athletic women in the division. One-fourth of the dawning, representing the women of tomorrow, alongside Asuka, Ember Moon, and Kairi Sane. You thought the men's division was gonna be wild in this wrestle war. The women are gonna battle just as hard. And tonight, these two points are gonna be very, very important. The first woman to get on the board on this wrestle war and make a statement, wow. That's gonna go a long way. And Bianca, Sasha Banks, two incredibly talented women, but only one can have their hand written. Look at that. Look at that hair. It's a lethal weapon. Only one can have their hand raised. When all is said and done, the revolutionaries and the dawning Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair. They tie up. Oh, look at this. Sasha going right after Bianca, making a statement early on. Trying to show her whose ring this is. The boss is here. And you can bank on that. Sasha with a quick snap suplex. And Belair hurting at the moment. Sasha turns her over. Look at this vicious offense from Sasha, looking to make a statement here, just going for an early pin, asserting some dominance over the young Bianca Belair. Sasha now with an Irish whip, fully in control, but Bianca fighting back. Here comes Belair, but Sasha, look at Banks, oh, connecting. The boss in full control at the moment. She looks ready for war. Sasha came out here with the right mindset. Just take it all to her opponent. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Give her everything she's got, but Bianca has Sasha in a bad spot right now. Just stomping away this crowd. This crowd clearly behind Sasha Banks. Not enjoying that offense from Bianca Belair, that's interesting. Sasha back in control. Takes Bianca to the ropes. Another Irish whip. Sasha's got a chance to capitalize, and she does. Big right hands. Crowd appreciates that. Sasha Banks with the cover. Gets a, no, oh, only a one count. Belair still fighting. She's not gonna back down, but look at Banks. Look at Sasha wrenching on the back. Pulling back. Look at the pressure applied by Sasha. Bianca hanging in there though, looking for a way to fight out. And look at that, look at the strength. Able to take Sasha down. Bianca finally with an opening of her own, but she's gotta find a way to capital. Oh, she just tosses Sasha Banks out of the ring. That's a bit of a statement move. Saying, get out of my ring. But she has yet to prove 
She has yet to prove that she belongs in this ring with Sasha Banks tonight. This has been all Sasha so far. But Bianca's got an opportunity here. Can she do something about it? Here we go, look at this! Oh my goodness! Planting Sasha! I may have spoken too soon! Cover, not even a one count. Not even a one count. Bianca can't believe it. Trying to set Sasha up. Hang on a second. She's got her up. Look at this, look at this. Oh my God, face first. Face first goes Sasha Banks. Belair's gonna do it. Two, oh. The boss kicks out. Sasha kicked out. Wow. Almost as if Bianca was playing possum that entire time. She came back with a vengeance on Sasha, but not able to get the job done just yet. Belair looking quite imp- Look at this! Look at the strength of Bianca Belair! Down goes Banks! Wow! What a display of strength from Bianca Belair. Clearly now proving that she does belong in this ring with Sasha Banks. This would be a huge victory for not only her, but for the dawning. Can't even get a two count. Sasha's gonna fight till the very end and Bianca knows that. She needs something big to put her away. Bianca, oh, hesitated a little bit there. Bianca couldn't decide what to do. Neck breaker. Sasha in control now. Big mistake from Belair. Bank statement. Can she lock it in? Yes, it's locked in. Bank statement. And yes, B yes, she got her. Bianca taps. Sasha Banks with a victory with a bank statement. My God, that came out of nowhere. Bianca's offense was fast and furious, but Sasha had an answer. Two points on the board for the revolutionaries. The boss victorious here at Wrestle War. My God, we are not stopping the action though, folks. Coming up next, six men. Tag team action, the workhorses, John Cena, Rusev, and Shelton Benjamin battle dreams and nightmares. Velveteen Dream and the Brothers of Destruction. Folks, let me tell you right now, you're about to get a taste of exactly what this wrestle war is all about. The workhorses have arrived, captained, of course, by none other than John Cena. This is a faction, this is a team that decided to band together, to fight for the cause as one. As you can see with the matching attires, John Cena leading the way, hustle, loyalty, and respect all in the ring here. The workhorses, men who you can always count on to get the job done. Fourth member, Dolph Ziggler actually not in action tonight, but surely watching from the back. What a combination this team is, but ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness the most unique combination inside Wrestle War. Velveteen Dream, Kane, the Undertaker, dreams and nightmares. Look at this. What a combination here. The fourth member of Dreams and Nightmares will be in action later on tonight. But these three, 
led by Velveteen Dream. Head into action with a purpose. They are all business tonight. And if you ask me how Velveteen Dream has somehow, look at this, has somehow found himself in control of the Brothers of Destruction, you, you gotta ask somebody else. Because I truly don't know. But these two are doing the bidding of Velveteen Dream. And they are here to destroy the workhorses. Listen to some of the star power in this match. Undertaker, John Cena, Kane, Rusev. What a contest this is. The workhorses. Dreams and nightmares. Six points on the line right now. Oh my goodness. DDT. This is one fall to a finish, by the way, folks. No elimination match tonight. Velveteen, look at this. Going for an ankle lock. Going for an ankle lock on Cena. John able to battle out, though. My goodness. Velveteen is taking it to John Cena. This young superstar sewing John Cena a thing or two. Six points, however, up for grabs in this six-man tag team contest. That is a big, big chunk of points. Undertaker, double axe handle, and look at this. Undertaker and John Cena going at it. A sight we thought we might not ever see again. But it's happening tonight. Wrestle War, you're gonna see a lot of things you never expected to happen. I'll tell you that much. Taker now with Cena in control of, oh my God. The dead man. What's he thinking here? Irish Whip gonna take him over to the corner. Big clothesline. As Kane cheers on his brother from the outside. Can you believe the Brothers of Destruction back together full time? Undertaker asserting some dominance over the 16 time world champion. Cena's hurt. Cena is hurt right now. The Undertaker has been, oh, all over this man. Another elbow. Uh oh. Cena getting a little angry. Gotta keep that anger in check though. Oh! Taker was lining up for a choke slam. Cena able to get out of the way. Here comes Rusev. These two, big elbow. These two have had their share of, of issues in the past, have Cena and Rusev. But the workhorses have bound together tonight to earn these points. Two for each competitor on the victorious side. So in the end, it's worth it to work together. You want points for yourself? You gotta get points for your team. Uh-oh, big backdrop. Undertaker, is he looking for a tag? No, Undertaker wants to end Rusev right here, right now. Dream not letting him back in the ring though, smart move. Kane, the freshest man here. Oh God, dropping Rusev. Look at the, oh my God, the strength. The big red machine. Look at that, paying respects to his brother. Dreams and nightmares. I think you can go ahead and put the score on the board right now because these guys are completely and utterly dominating the workhorses. Kane might be ready to put an end to Rusev. Hang on, Ruru. What day is it? We're about to find out. Rusev to the outside. That didn't work out too well for him. Kane, oh God, drops him right on the back of his head. Kane and Rusev, tombstone on the outside perhaps. Oh wait, no, God, thank God. Snake eyes, thank God it was just that. 
across the apron. Rusev, though, catches him with a clothesline. He is a big and powerful man. Tossing Kane away from the ring. Count of six. Both these men gonna have to keep an eye on that count. Rusev, headbutt. What's that, a count of eight? Hang on, Rusev! Kane might not be able to count it. Oh, Rusev breaks the count. Rusev probably could have gotten the win there. Dominating Kane on the outside. Probably could have gotten the count out victory. But instead, continues to fight off Kane. Maybe that's why they call him a workhorse. He's willing to put the work in and finish the job. But Rusev is absolutely destroying Kane right now. Backbreaker. Count of seven. Rusev's gotta head back to the ring. He does, that's a count of eight. Is he gonna break the count again? Count of nine. He's not gonna break the count. No, not like this. Oh my goodness. The workhorse has stolen. The workhorse has stolen victory. This match was completely dominated by Velveteen Dream and the Brothers of Destruction, but Rusev found a way to get the job done, and the workhorses are victorious. Nice, nice victory thing. Six points on the board. Congratulations to them, John Cena, Shelton Benjamin, and Rusev. But ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we have an eight-man battle royal, all representing different teams. The winner receives an Intercontinental Championship opportunity. Eight men, one ring, it's about to go down. Crowd waiting in anticipation for this eight man over the top rope battle royale to get started. An opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Not only that, but points are doubled. So the winner will not receive two points. Oh no, they will receive four points. And ladies and gentlemen, the first entrant, captain of the men of honor, Daniel Bryan. One of the most incredible athletes, incredible superstars. One of the most popular superstars of all time. And he's ready for war. He has teamed up with the men of honor, Roderick Strong, Bobby Fish, and Kyle O'Reilly. Woo! What a combination that team is. The men of honor have a chance for four points tonight. And it all rests on the shoulders of Daniel Bryan. All seven other participants in this match also represent other factions in the Wrestle War. So it's really anybody's ball game tonight. A lot of teams with an opportunity to put up some big points early on. And these fans here in attendance, they know they're witnessing something special. They can't decide whether they want to stand up or sit down. Look, they really can't figure it out. They have no idea. They are completely and utterly shook. That woman doesn't even know what she's cheering about. Nothing's happening. But Daniel Bryan awaits the second entrant. Oh dear, baby, Lord Jesus, Braun Strowman. Co-captain, that's right. Co-captain of heavy artillery. Can you guess who his fellow co-captain is? None other than the Beast, former Universal Champion, Brock freaking Lesnar. Who else is in heavy artillery with Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar? How about the Big Show 
and Lars Sullivan. We are talking about a mountain of beef for heavy artillery. And Braun Strowman's looking to add some numbers to the chart for his team tonight. The question is though, who else are we gonna see? Oh, hang on a second. Speed Force member coming out. We saw Rey Mysterio, the Intercontinental Champion in action earlier today, so, so now this is interesting. This is interesting because Xavier Woods, Speed Force member Xavier Woods, part of the Battle Royale. Now this is interesting because if, if Xavier Woods is able to win this and earn a shot at the Intercontinental Championship, he can. He can go head to head with his own teammate, Rey Mysterio. It's not something you wanna do. You don't wanna end up injuring or hurting your fellow teammates in this war. But sometimes it comes down to that because at the end of the day, these superstars want to win championships. These superstars want that pay raise. They want to be at the top of the mountain. Speed force rocks, says Xavier Woods. Oh, listen to the, chat, the, the crowd. Speed force rocks. Oh, I can hear it. Speed force rocks. Oh, speed. oh wow. It's a, the advancement in this game is amazing. Speed force quickness agility unpredictability look no further than Xavier Woods fellow speed force members of course Kofi Kingston and Kalisto oh my god folks you're about to see oh god oh hang on hang on hang on Darkness has fallen. Team WCW is here with the captain, El Capitan, the icon, the man called Sting. Unbelievable, I told you guys there is gonna be some insane matchups in this series. You might see some dream matches after all with Team WCW. The age of attitude in there. We got superstars from the 90s coming back for one more shot. One more chance to reach the top. And Sting wants his opportunity. Four points for Team WCW will go a long way. Goldberg, Diamond Dallas Page, and Kevin Nash all round out that squad. I'm sure you'll see them all in action sooner than later. But the Stinger is gonna shoulder the burden tonight and take the opportunity into his own hands. And we are not done yet, folks. We got more superstars in this battle royale, absolutely star powered. Packed with some of the greatest ever. Oh! And speaking of the greatest, look no further than the king. The king of strong style. Shinsuke Nakamura, captain of the Hitmen. Four of the hardest hitting, most dangerous strikers in professional wrestling. Shinsuke Nakamura, Pete Dunne, Alistair Black, and the man in our main event tonight, a man who of course is in our thoughts and our prayers, the one and only the big dog, Roman Reigns. The Hitmen, that's definitely one of the top factions, one of the most dangerous here in this Wrestle War. And Nakamura, the King of Strong Style, has entered the Battle Royal for an opportunity at four points. He's ready for war. 
The question is, are these competitors ready for Shinsuke Nakamura? As I said, fellow Hitmen member Roman Reigns in a triple threat match tonight for the Universal Championship. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We still got more competitors. How about this? Hey, captains. Watch your backs. Captain Randy Orton is here. And the Viper is ready to strike. Dirty Deeds is the team that this man is the leader of. Men willing to go that extra mile, that extra devious, disgusting mile, willing to get their hands dirty to get the job done. Randy Orton, Dean Ambrose, Tommaso Ciampa, and The Miz. A devious group, if there ever was one. And I'm sure this man, Randy Orton, has got some dirty deeds on his mind. A man used to fighting alone, fighting for himself. Doesn't really play well with others that much. But tonight, it's every man for themselves. He's got to worry about seven other opponents all trying to do the same thing that he is. And if Randy can find a way to survive tonight, that's four points for Dirty Deeds. The Viper, get a good look. My God, guys, I told you the star power in this Wrestle War is going to be something else. Every episode is going to be must-see, can't miss. There's going to be a lot of action. There are no filler episodes around here, folks. We bring bangers upon bangers. And next up, here in the Battle Royale. Oh, Lord have mercy. We told you that the fourth member of Dreams and Nightmares would be in action tonight. And you are looking at him. Bray Wyatt rounding out that spooky ass faction of Dreams and Nightmares. Bray Wyatt took Velveteen Dream under his wing, taught him things that I, I can only imagine and Velveteen has been leading this team. But tonight, it's Bray Wyatt's turn. Dreams and Nightmares obviously not victorious earlier tonight, losing to the workhorses. That's six potential points right through their fingertips. Imagine if Dreams and Nightmares were able to win that matchup and then Bray Wyatt wins the Battle Royale tonight. That would have been 10 points on the board for dreams and nightmares. Would have been a huge statement to start off this war. But, unable to get the job done. That's gonna be the beauty about this war is that at any time, any team can take advantage, can lose the advantage. Anything can happen. That's not just a catchphrase. It's the damn truth. And I believe we've, we've approached our final participant in the Battle Royale. Representing the breakouts, co-captain Kevin Owens. Co-captain in his words. Actual captain Finn Balor. Kevin Owens, however, feels entitled as he would to being captain of that team. However, that is not the case. But the breakouts, regardless, are one talented group of individuals. Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Samoa Joe. Former NXT breakouts, former NXT champions. 
Men who showed this universe just what they have. Down there at the old performance center, down there in Florida. And they would all break out to become huge stars here in WWE. Ladies and gentlemen, eight men, one ring, it's going down. It's going down. We can only have one winner. Who's going home? Oof. Who's going home with the four points? Braun Strowman's got Sting. My God, almost threw him out of the ring. A lot of meat in this ring right now. A lot of beef. Randy Orton, clothesline. No, oh, look at that! Xavier Woods with an elimination. Xavier Woods with an elimination and Randy Orton is gone early. And there goes Sting. Woods assisting on that elimination. Great performance so far from Speed Force member Xavier Woods. Remember, if Woods gets this victory here tonight, he becomes the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Held. Oh, look at that! Daniel Bryan's gone! Shinsuke Nakamura has eliminated Daniel Bryan. He was a favorite in this battle royale. As I was saying, however, Woods would then be forced to face his own, his own faction partner, Rey Mysterio. If it comes down to that, it comes down to it. Gotta do what you gotta do. But first, he's gotta focus on the task at hand. Kevin Owens, Bray Wyatt, Shinsuke Nakamura, Braun Strowman, never mind. Bye bye, Bray Wyatt. We're already down to four. This field has been cut in half very quickly. Kevin Owens, Xavier Woods, Braun Strowman, Shinsuke Nakamura, who looks to be in trouble at the moment. Speed Force, the breakouts, heavy artillery, and the hitmen. All the groups represented in the ring right now. Look at Nakamura. Oh my God, the strength. Being able to lift up that massive man. Woods in the corner. Kevin Owens, about to pull him out, oh no! Interrupted by Nakamura there, Kevin didn't appreciate that. Excuse me, pardon me, he says, just trying to, just trying to take Xavier Woods out. Everybody keeps interrupting him. Woods battles back, Strowman in the corner, Nakamura with a backbreaker. Xavier looking for another elimination, not able to get it. Woods already with two eliminations tonight, but hang on! Down he goes. Who of these four men will capture the four points? Kinshasa on Braun Strowman, Jesus. And Shinsuke standing tall at the moment. Uh-oh, that moment has passed. Braun Strowman looks pissed. I wouldn't want to be Nakamura right now. Got him around the throat. Oh my God. The force behind that. Oh! Low blow out of nowhere. Nakamura answered back. Xavier Woods in trouble. Look at Kevin Owens. Owens! Power bomb! Strowman's out! What a move from Kevin Owens! Woods trying to get the crowd behind him. Uh oh, come on. Xavier took a little too much time. Took a little too much time over the ropes! And Kevin Owens! Knocks him down. And we've reached the final two. Shinsuke Nakamura and Kevin Owens. One of these men will be the new number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. And from the looks of it, it may be Kevin Owens. He's got him up. 
That elimination on Strowman was, was unbelievable. And now Kevin Owens gonna follow it up by eliminating Nakamura. As Woods slowly walks by, perhaps catching Kevin Owens' attention. Kevin unable to finish the job, wait! Shinsuke pops up. Shinsuke's got an opening. Nakamura got him over his shoulders. Down he goes. Kevin right back to his feet. Absolutely anybody's, anybody's ball game right here. Owens reverses. Takes Nakamura down. Can Kevin finish the job? New number one contender, who's it gonna be? Shinsuke, he's got him in the corner. Owens in a tough spot. Can he battle out? Shinsuke desperately trying, yes! Kevin battles out. Owens now, went for a belly to belly. Nakamura close line in the corner. Four points on the line. It all comes down to this. Owens, reversal. This back and forth. Kevin, here it is. No, Nakamura, big reversal. Big time reversal. Shinsuke, got him in the corner. Close line, out he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, Shinsuke Nakamura. What a battle royale, what a victory. The king of strong style puts on one hell of a performance and gains four points for the Hitmen. Congratulations, Nakamura, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up next, it is our main event. Triple threat rules. Roman Reigns, Finn Balor, and the champion Seth Rollins. Hang on a second. What is this on our screen right now? That's Ember Moon and Ronda Rousey backstage. Ember, Ember is attacking Ronda Rousey. What the hell is this? Somebody's gotta get back there. Ember, no! Oh my god! The Dawning's Ember Moon, the number one contender for the women's championship. She is viciously assaulting women's champion Ronda Rousey backstage. Why is no one stopping this? Ronda fighting back. The whole, the whole arena can see this. We got all our cameras in the back at the moment. Rousey fighting back. This feud apparently has turned ugly. Ember Moon has been chasing the women's championship for some time. Uh-oh. But Rousey unwilling to give it up. No one's been able to beat her. So Ember apparently is just taking matters into her own hands. But this, this might be a bad move. Amber, no! There's no padding back there. That's, oh my God, Rhonda. Rhonda's gonna be hurt. Rhonda is gonna be hurt. Fighting back. But, Amber Moon could be facing a fine or, or a suspension from this. Just a vicious assault. Unsanctioned, oh my god, the elbow. Ember Moon. Showing an aggressive side of herself. And I can't believe, I can't believe Ronda's still up at this point in time right now. Ronda trying to fight back. Just out, just out of pure instinct at this point. But Ember Moon has done some damage. Uh-oh, Ronda's got a chair. Oh no! Ember stopped her. That could have been really bad for Ember Moon. She's got Ronda over by the table. 
What the hell is Ember thinking here? Woods talking to Renee Young about what just happened out at ringside, but the more important situation happening right now is this assault. This absolute mauling from Ember Moon, completely unprovoked. Oh, look at this. Woods and Young running away. They don't want any part of this. Look at this DDT again. Right on the top of her head. This is not good. Ember, Ember's gotta stop this. Jesus. Setting up. Oh my God, the Eclipse. Face to face, Ember Moon has knocked out Ronda Rousey backstage. We have to get our trainers there. She could be looking at a fine or a suspension. Folks, we, we can't stop. We gotta keep it rolling. Entrance is already underway. It is main event time. Triple threat match. Universal Championship is on the line. And making his way to the ring, co-captain of the breakouts, Finn Balor. This man right here has made quite the name for himself since stepping into this company. The personas and the different creations of himself that this man has presented have been quite interesting. But this new Finn Balor, it, it perhaps is the most dangerous we've ever seen. He has become the silent assassin. And this crowd is all for it. The Universal Championship is up for grabs tonight as three of the most incredible superstars today battle all together, one ring, one fall, one winner. And again, winning a championship match is worth three points instead of two. So Finn has a chance to put three points on the board for the breakouts, finally get them on the board. Seth Rollins, if he successfully defends his championship tonight, puts three points on the board for Team Five Star. An accomplishment AJ Styles was not able to do earlier this evening. Or if the big dog, Roman Reigns, is victorious. Could you imagine that? Three points for the victory, plus Shinsuke Nakamura's four points for winning the Battle Royale. That's seven for the Hitmen. And that would be quite the accomplishment. Again, folks, stay tuned very soon. I'll be releasing a chart. We'll be keeping track of all the points to make sure you guys don't have to worry about keeping it up for yourself. But the man is here. The big bad dog. Roman Reigns of the Hitmen. This is a man who is no stranger to big fights. No stranger to winning those big fights. And I believe tonight may be no different. Roman going into this match with a one-third chance of winning. But if you ask him, there's no way he's walking out of here without the Universal Championship. He wants it back. It's newly designed. It looks effing fantastic. It's beautiful. And he wants it. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Once again, we are keeping that man in our thoughts and in our hearts. But tonight, it's time for war. And it's time to welcome the man. The Universal Champion. Seth freaking Rollins. The golden idol of WWE. The champ. 
member of Team Five Star, perhaps the most prestigious team in this war. Everything's looking up for Seth Rollins right now. However, tonight, his championship could be in serious, serious jeopardy. He does not have to be pinned. He does not have to tap out to lose the title. Anybody could walk out of here as champion without Seth Rollins being involved in the decision, and I'm sure that that is weighing heavily on his mind right now. The champion of the universe, the man of the hour, the King Slayer, whatever you want to call him, keep your eyes on him. Because I would bet that this man is going to put on a show tonight. As I said, folks, there are no filler episodes here. Every episode is going to be must-see, can't miss. Title changes could happen. Briefcases could premiere. Superstars could appear or disappear. You never know what's about to go down. Championship on the line. The debut episode of Wrestle War. And it's main event time. Finn Balor, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins. It's going down. And Reigns, oh, look at this. Reigns taking out Finn Balor. Turns his attention to his former brother, Seth Rollins. Every man for himself tonight. Balor. There is no shield at the moment. There is the Hitmen. There's Team Five Star. There's the breakouts. But in this match tonight, the shield means next to nothing. Balor now desperately wants to recapture that Universal Championship. He feels like he never really had a fair shake to get it back. But hang on, look at Rollins. Is not gonna lose it that easily. Seth's gonna put it all on the line to make sure he remains champion. Balor, of course, the first ever Universal Champion. Sling Blade. Can he become a two-timer? Reigns back in the ring. Is he gonna break this up? I think Rollins might have kicked out of that anyway, but Reigns was right there. Drop kick. Roman looking for his op oh, looks for his opportunity, but may have hesitated a little too much as Finn Balor now in complete control. Rollins though. Seth answers back. The champ goes for a quick pin. Goes for a pin. I don't blame him. Oh, Balor with the kip up clothesline in the corner. Finn will not stay down. Balor has been just popping back up at every opportunity. Not staying down for too long. And honestly, that's pretty smart. But here comes Roman Reigns and down he goes again. Reigns unable to get any momentum so far in this match. Can't really get anything going. It's been mostly Balor and Seth Rollins. But look at this. Don't count the big dog out. Roman turns his attention to Finn Balor. Trying to catch his breath. Oh, and Finn. Finn was able to catch him. Might have been playing possum there a little bit. What's Balor thinking? Balor wants to fly. Finn, are we going to see a coup de gras? Look at this! Connecting! Coup de gras on Roman Reigns! Rollins there to break it up. That could have been it. We could have had a new champion. But Seth won't let that happen. Kick to the midsection. Rollins in control. Oh, God. Oh, God. We've seen this before. Don't do it! Superplex! Into the Falcon Arrow. That might be it to retain the title. No. And Balor again kips up. This man won't stay down. We've seen a much more aggressive side of Finn Balor as of late. Wanting to prove he deserves the title of being the captain 
of the breakouts. Wants to prove he deserves the Universal Championship. Reigns finally back to his feet. Can he string some offense together here? Not right now, because Seth, if Seth is just too good. Rollins, ro rolling through. Rollins rolling through. Hooks the leg. One, two. Oh, unable to get him. Unable to get him off the super kick. All three men back in the ring now. Roman Reigns really needs to find a way to answer back. Uh-oh. Couldn't connect with that clothesline. Not really sure where he's at the moment. Balor plants him. Finn Balor and Seth Rollins have put on insane performances so far tonight. Can Roman find a way to battle back? Rollins down on the outside. Balor with the sling blade. Trying to create an opportunity for himself. Can he put him away? 19! 16! Balor takes down Rollins! What's Finn doing here? What the hell is Balor thinking? Is he going for a weapon? Finn, this is what I'm talking about. The more aggressive side of Finn Balor. Oh, wait. He decided against it. But, oh, he wasted too much time. Balor had a, a change of conscience. Oh, wait, wait a second. Oh, there it is. King Slayer. Oh, oh my God, Superman Punch. Rollins got in with the Superman Punch. Rollins and Balor out cold. Reigns wants the kendo stick. No hesitation here. A shot on Rollins. Nothing personal. It's just business. Spear. Spear on Rollins. Oh. And a kick to the side of the head of Balor. Both men look knocked out. This might be a mistake. Reigns here going for the pin on Balor instead of Rollins. Roman just getting pumped up though. Reigns finally stringing something together. Big clothesline. The big dog with a full head of steam. Rollins though, Seth. Seth Walker. Rollins to retain. Here he comes. Big strikes, sling blade. Can he put him away? Here comes Seth, the roll through. Super kick, but wait, Balor's back. Balor's back. Reigns is out. Balor and Rollins. Anybody's ball game. This fast paced action, insane right now. Balor thinking about the kendo stick. After all, it was his idea. But instead, he's gonna cover, oh, he sees Roman Reigns looking unconscious almost, oh, but Reigns able to battle back, able to kick out. Seth Rollins, however, looks worse for wear. Close, I know. Every time Roman Reigns starts to get an advantage, it gets shut down by Finn or Seth. Reigns rolls to the outside, Balor. That's it. That has to be. Has to be if the Balor wants more. Finn wants the exclamation point. No. Too much. Rollins reverses. Neck breaker from Seth, but Reigns is back up to his feet. Reigns is back in the ring. Spear. Spear on Seth Rollins. Hooks the leg. It's over. One. Two, oh no! The champ kicked out. The champ stays in it. I don't know how, but Rollins is still in it. Reigns, look at the strength. Takes down Finn Balor. Both men in trouble. 
Uh oh, Balor fighting back. Here comes Balor. Oh, big time move. No, Reigns reverses. Looked like he was going for that spear for a second. He was running full steam, full speed ahead towards Balor. What's this? Look at the power. Look at the strength. Power bomb. And Roman Reigns. Can he finish him off? No, another kick out from the champ. Jesus. Reigns finally able to string something together though. He's got Balor. Samoan drop right in the middle of the ring. Is that enough? Goes for the cover too. No, that won't do it. At this point, it's anybody's ball game. Spear! It's Reigns' ball game. One, two, new champion, no! Balor kicked down, shut up! Rollins, wait, Rollins back to his feet, and he catches a spear! Holy sh... Hooks the leg! One, two, we have a new Universal Champion! Jesus! Back-to-back -back spears! This looked like it was gonna be Balor or Rollins the entire way. But Roman Reigns dug down deep and pulled it out. What a victory for the big dog. We have a new Universal Champion. Congratulations, Roman Reigns. The Hitmen put seven points on the board. And ladies and gentlemen, the war is officially underway. Thank you so much for stopping by. Whew. That's a long video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. Five star main event. Like I said, guys, no filler episodes here, all right? Every episode is gonna be sick. It's gonna be can't miss, a lot of action, a lot of great stuff coming your way. I cannot wait to show you guys what's next. Plenty of surprises, plenty more superstars coming. Whew. What a way to kick it off. Stay tuned for more. I'll see you next time.